Hey, welcome back to 90s Wheel Cards. Jake Roy here. So we've got a fun retail product, and this is actually a retail product where we can pull some fire. So let's get into it. Welcome back. So this week, we have 96, 97 Fleer Metal, and these are retail packs. These are Series 1, so no rookies in these, but there are some really fun inserts. You know, we've got some cool metal designs, nothing like the 97, 98 stuff, but, uh, you know, we do have some relatively rare things, some really cool 90s designs, uh, you know, some Fire Jordans that we can pull that are, you know, high in value, and uh, some really cool cards that we'll, we'll get into, so let's start talking about it. All right, so here we've got some PC stuff that we're gonna get into. So we're gonna start over here with the uh, the most common. So this is the NBA pickup game, kind of an interesting card. You get a sticker there with a jersey in the middle, uh, and kind of like a redemption type of game that you can play. You know, so these are one in six packs, not very rare, not terribly valuable. You know, you're looking at getting these for a buck or less most of the time, um, you know, but they can be somewhat hard to find because they're not things that people are gonna sell as singles too often. Uh, you know, then you get the rules on the back there. So kind of an interesting set with the NBA pickup game. Then moving on, this is a really cool looking one. So we've got power tools. The power tools are one in 18 packs. And I really like this. So this is a Vin Baker here. Uh, and I think that these are really cool looking cards. You know, there's not a lot of star power in here. Power tools, it, it really is a lot of the big men, the more powerful players. And you've really got the best player in the set is probably Dennis Rodman at, you know, $5 or so. You know, a Vin Baker like this is about a dollar. So not the most valuable cards, but I think these are really cool looking cards, kind of underrated cards. You know, and then on the back, it's kind of a, kind of a basic look, something similar to what you'll see in the, in the base set, but uh, you know, really cool in the front foil there. All right, next one up. So these are about one per box here, one in 36 packs on the metal edge. So this is an interesting set where you've got some stars and then you've also got some rookies. So we've got an Antoine Walker here and uh, you know, really cool. You've got the metal edge words on the side that are embossed. Uh, and then you get, you know, some foil, like all these cards are gonna have, you know, really the, the cream of the crop here is the Kobe, which is about a $15 card roughly. You know, this Antoine Walker here is about a dollar or so. Uh, and then you've got some other stars like Scotty Pippen that you could, you could get potentially. So one in 36 packs here. On the back, you've got a very definitely a 90s looking <laughs> design there with some lasers and stuff. And now we're getting up into some of the more rare stuff. So Steel Slammin we have here, this is a Jordan a one in 72 pack. So pretty rare, uh, really cool looking cards. These are very collectible. You know, you've got a nice embossing on Jordan, embossed on the slamming and gold. You've got some gold foil in there. You know, really nice looking cards in all honesty. Um, you know, so I, I, I enjoy these quite a bit. They range about 50 to $100, depending on condition. You know, if you get a good grade, if you get a gem, it's, it's quite a bit more. Um, you know, some other stars in the set, you've got Kevin Garnett, and actually Kevin Garnett's pictured in his rookie jersey, which is interesting uh, and very collectible for these. And then the back, you can kind of see a little bit more of that embossed from the glare there. Pretty cool cards. Then I don't have an example of the next one, but Metal Decade, most of you guys probably know what the 86, 87 Fleer set looks like. I'll, I'll slide a picture in of the Metal Decade. But basically you're looking at the same as the 86, 87 Fleer with a little bit of foil and uh, it says Decade of Excellence on there. So the Jordan is really what we're looking at getting on, on that. So those are one in a hundred packs for the, the Decade of Excellence. And then the cream of the crop here is Molten Metal. So these are one in 180 packs. So this is a penny that we have. You know, so kind of a lenticular design. And as some of you guys know, fans of cards typically gravitate towards lenticular. I'm not a huge fan of lenticular. I think it's uh, a little bit too much for, for me, but I, I understand the pull for some people. So, you know, kind of an interesting set here. You've got, you know, the molten uh, flames and, and stuff. Uh, really interesting stuff because the series one was only in retail and they had this design for those. And then series two had a different design and those were only in hobby packs. So kind of an interesting uh, design and, and distribution strategy from Fleer, but you know, cool looking cards here, really rare. 
And uh, you know, if you're looking at getting some firepower here, the Penny and the Kevin Garnett are really the best players that you can pull in uh, in this design. And then you get the Iverson and George and stuff like that in the Series Two hobby offering. So this uh, and and the Kevin Garnett are about thirty forty dollar cards, depending on condition. These typically are in very good condition. So if you have any sort of noticeable issues with condition, it definitely detracts from the value of it. So let's get in and hope we get some fire. All right, we've got five packs here, eight cards per pack, and let's get right in. All right, this is a subset card, so we've got moving on, Jalen Rose. We've got moving on, Jalen Rose. It's uh, highlighting him moving to a different team. Gary Trent. Got John Stockton, nice. Wesley Person. Stuck here, looks like an insert. Very nice power tools, Horace Grant. That's awesome, look at that, one in 18 packs, beautiful. Metalize, this is another subset, really cool looking stuff here. Eddie Jones. We got Rick Fox with the Celtics. And Fresh Foundations, this is another subset card. And this is Steve Nash. All right, it's pack number two. Very nice here. Another subset, Metal Shredders, Scotty Pippen. Really cool looking. Sean Bradley. There's our Vin Baker base to match the power tools. Chris Mullen. Oh, looks like we get another insert. Awesome, Metal Edge, Scotty Pippen. We're doing great here. One in 36 packs on that one. Sam Cassell. Jim Jackson. And Lafonso Ellis. All right, back number three. All right, another metal shredder, Jason Kidd, Vinny Del Negro, Tony Kukoc, love that jersey. Sean Camp, who's that, Brian Grant, Theo Ratliff, moving on, Mark Jackson, Dino Raja, all right. Getting down to the last couple, number four. All right, on the move, Stacy Ogman. There we go with a penny, awesome. Derek McKee, Cedric Sabalas, Danny Ferry, Alonzo Mourning, very nice. John Starks, that's a cool one. And who's this on the back? All right, Metal Shredder Shack. All right, last pack. Really would love to see one of those molten metals here. All right, another Stacy Ogman. Let's see if it's all the same. Another Penny, beautiful. Derek McKee, this is all looking familiar. Cedric Sabalas, Danny Ferry. Kevin Garnett, okay, got something a little different there, like that. Brent Berry, and Grant Hill, very nice. All right, so we did really well in those packs, you know, so really pumped to pull two inserts, you know, with just five packs, I wasn't even expecting to get one, even in an NBA pickup game. So, you know, the power tools, one in 18, you know, this, you know, Horace Grant, it's about a dollar. It's not worth too much more, too much less than a Vin Baker, uh, but really cool. I love the magic. I love magic from the 90s. Horace Grant, you know, I loved him with the goggles. So this is gonna uh, be a card that I, I enjoy in my collection. And then, you know, really the, the best thing that we got was this metal edge of Scotty Pippen, you know, so this is maybe a $5 card at most, you know, so, Again, we've been in a little bit of a sophomore slump in season two, uh, you know, not pulling a whole lot of fire on camera. I have shared some some fire pulls that I've had off camera, but I'm trying to get them all on camera now. And uh, you know, we kind of are starting to to see the the tide turn possibly with these packs. But you know, looking at an ROI perspective from the packs, you know, the packs run roughly four dollars a piece uh, online. So you know, again, five packs, four dollars a piece. You're looking at twenty dollars. We probably got a maybe ten dollars if you can culminate everything you know so again not getting our our money back on them but really fun stuff you know so we killed the odds you know we got one that's one in 18 one that's one in 36 um you know and fun stuff i mean scotty pippen is, is a cool player for bulls fans 
as well. So a lot of fun. You know, we didn't get any molten metals. We didn't get, you know, another steel slam in Jordan, which would be fun to pull. Um, you know, but really great looking subset cards too that I didn't mention in the Forerunner. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, you know, as we were pulling them. You know, these could be insert cards on their own in a lot of cases. You know, stuff like the Metal Shredders, the Metal Eyes. I know this Jordan card, people love that. I mean, again, not terribly expensive, but, you know, collectors buy them in bulk at times. And then, I mean, even the, the base set with these pennies, these are gorgeous looking cards in my opinion. So really fun stuff. And there's some parallels that you can get in the hobby offerings too, which we'll go over in a later video. So, you know, that's, that's what we pulled, really fun stuff. Uh, question of the day for you. So this weekend on Saturday, August 17th, I'm gonna be going to East Coast National. So I talked about it a little bit last week with a lot of people at the National in Chicago. Uh, so the East Coast National is going to be in White Plains, New York. So let me know if you're going to be going to that show. So again, it's uh, on August 17th. I'll be getting there pretty early in the morning and uh, I might be there the whole day. I, I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to be staying there, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the folks that I'm going with are going to want to stay for a good amount of time. So drop me down in the comments or, or shoot me a DM on social media about, you know, if you're going to go, I'd love to meet up with you. We can chat cards. We can share what we've, we've brought with us, um, you know, and I'd love to hear any stories that you have about any fire poles. Maybe we can open some packs together for this stuff to, to open up the show. So drop it down in the comments. As always, thanks for spending some time and uh, opening packs with me. This is a lot of fun for me. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New pack openings like this drop on Wednesdays. And any other bonus content will drop on Fridays. Thanks.